But at that time, there was actually a lot of talk that Foden, not that he was, he was really out of favour. Like there was, with the word those issues, um, and you're kind of thinking, Jesus, is this going to be one of those lads who bursts on and is sensational for a couple of years, and then just I kind of referenced in the piece about Nathan Collins this weekend myself. Just sometimes players can get ch- caught up in the churn of professional football, especially at that elite level. But he's kind of sees that obviously Kevin De Bruyne has got his injury he gets a chance to play centrally and he takes his opportunity and yeah. it's just the ability that he has and the way he plays football it's just brilliant to watch it's there's no other, like it's just it's he is one of those players where when he's on when he's on that form you just try and watch him play football and, and see him because it's just, I don't think there's anybody else like him in the no. Premier League and he's definitely better centrally the damage he does in the half turn is just frightening mm. he was so good I think he's got rubber legs the angles he seems to just um, yeah. chop passes at and evade people with it's extraordinary Which at I, one stage on commentary Darren Fletcher said he's 23 he's got five yeah. Premier League medals and one Champions League and then mentioned a bunch of other cups that even Phil Foden doesn't count at this stage I know yeah he's going to end up with 10 Premier Leagues well this is the thing like he, he's, he's on for it isn't he if, if, well it depends what happens with City and Guardiola how long he stays and how they manage the whole succession thing of keeping that show on the road and, and stuff like that but um, no, he, he would be on for it. Like, you think about it, he's been around since he was like 17. Yeah. And it's it's weird because you look at him and he's just so technically gifted. And yet sometimes he's, he's doing stuff at a pace. And I'm sure, like, I don't know, even say with rugby or with, with Gaelic, and maybe I can't quite really comprehend it in that in that in those kind of spheres. But you see it in football, and you're like, how can he do it at that pace where some players just have that ability to do stuff so quickly in terms of speed at all, but then do it with mm. their feet but then also when, when it's needed which I'm saying about being great essentially when he is playing wide sometimes where he just slows it down and then in an instant mm. it's gone again there's very few people in, in sport who are actually capable of doing that of going like it's just incredible to watch it really is like